In this video, I will show you where to find video engagement data in Google Analytics 4 reports. Hey, my name is Julius and welcome to the Analytics Mania YouTube channel, where I teach people how to work with Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics. So if you want to stay up to date with GA4, then consider subscribing to this channel. By default, Google Analytics 4 can track not only page views, but also embedded YouTube video players. But finding video engagement data in reports might be challenging for beginners. So let's take a look at how can you do that. If you go to the admin section of your Google Analytics 4 property, and then in the property column, select data streams and click your web data stream, here you will see the enhanced measurement section. By default, it is enabled. And one of the things that it tracks automatically is video engagement events. When I'm recording this video, this applies only to embedded YouTube video players on your website. So if this is enabled and Google Analytics 4 is installed on a website and a visitor goes to your site, clicks, for example, play button on the embedded YouTube video player, then Google Analytics will track that. And then if you go to reports, engagement and events, then in the search field, enter video, you will see several events that are tracked automatically by GA4. If someone clicks a play button, then a video start event will be dispatched. Please ignore this video play because this is a result of some testing that I did in the past. When someone watches the entire video, then you get the video complete event. And if someone watches, for example, 25% of the video or 50%, then you get video progress event. However, if you click on, for example, video start, here you will not find any default parameters that Google Analytics tracks, such as video name or video URL. And in this context, that information is the most important because you don't want to know just the fact that someone played a video. You want to know what kind of video was it. That is why you should go to the explore section right here. And then you will need to create a new exploration. Let's start with blank. And here you will need to add several dimensions and metrics. First, let's start with dimensions. So click plus, then enter event and add event name and then enter video. And here are several dimensions that are automatically tracked and recognized by GA4. Select them right here and click import, then metrics. Here you should click plus and add event count because we want to know how many times was that particular video viewed, for example. And then another metric could be something like total users. If you want to see how many users interacted with your video player, click import. And now let's create a report of videos that people are playing the most. So it means that the video start event was tracked by Google Analytics 4. To do that, let's first add the video title to the rows so you can drag it or just double click it. Then we can double click these two metrics so that they would be added to the values section. So double click event count, double click total users. And here you will see the names of the videos. However, the first line most likely will be empty. This is happening because currently this report shows the data of all events, not just video events, but all events. That includes page views, clicks, and so on. And for example, page view event does not have the video data. That is why we need to narrow down and to include only those events that are video start. Because in this report, we want to see the most popular videos when it comes to playing them. So in the filter section of the tab settings column, click anywhere and then select event name. Now we need to narrow down and we're looking only for those events that exactly match and then enter video start and then click apply. And now we see the most popular video titles. We see how many times was each event played, or in other words, the video start event happened. And these are the numbers of users. For example, this particular event was played this many times, and this is the number of users. Since this number is smaller, it means that some users watched or at least started watching the video more than once. Maybe they watched the video one day and then returned the next day and started watching it again. Below this video, you will find a link to a documentation about enhanced measurement events. And if you scroll down to the section of video engagement, you will see those three events that are tracked automatically and you will see what kind of parameters are sent. However, not all parameters are available as dimensions in Google Analytics 4 by default. Because as you remember, we saw three video parameters or actually three dimensions, video provider, video title and video URL. 
Maybe in the future, Google Analytics 4 will add other dimensions that access things like video current time or video duration or video percent. But at the moment, we don't have that as dimensions right here. So if you want, for example, to create a report where you look at a particular video and you look at the percentage of that video, for example, how many users watched 25% of the video or how many users watched 75% of the video. So if you want to use this in your Google Analytics 4 property, you will need to register an event scoped custom dimension in your GA4 property. And you can do that by going to configure in your GE4 property, then custom definitions, and then create custom dimensions. And here you can enter something like video percent or whatever. And then here you need to enter a parameter name that is exactly like this video underscore percent. Right now I'm getting error because I already have that dimension registered before I was recording this video. And make sure that the scope is event. So when you register this dimension, within the next 24 hours, you will start seeing that video percent dimension in your exploration reports. And actually in some parts of standard reports as well. But keep in mind that when you create this dimension, it starts applying only to new events that are incoming into Google Analytics 4. Your historic data of video percent will not be available as video percent dimension. So the main lesson here is that once you implement Google Analytics 4 on a website, you must create video percent dimension as soon as possible. Anyway, in my case, the custom dimension is called video percent. It was created a while ago, so I have already accumulated some data. So now I can go to the exploration in Google Analytics 4 and add that dimension by clicking the plus right here. Then I will enter video and I will select that dimension and click import. Now let's say that I will be focusing on this particular video and I want to see the percentage of how many people watched it at 25%, 50% and so on. So to do that, first of all, I would need to go to filters and switch from video start to video progress because that is the event that is automatically tracked by GE4. So I will enter video progress click apply. And then I can do, for example, the right click right here, and then include only selections. So this will include only events where video title is this, or I could manually create the filter right here. But doing the right click and including the selection will automatically create a filter for me. So click include only selection. And now this filter is right here, because it says video title exactly matches this. Right now, we just see the title, but we want to see the percentage. So instead of video title dimension right here, we can remove it and instead I will use video percent. And here I see 10%, 25%, 50%. And it looks like no users in that particular time period watched the video beyond 75%. But this is a very long video. It's over one hour long. So this is no surprise. But if I select it, maybe a longer time period, maybe I would get more data. And I was right. So now I see that some people even watched that video beyond the 90% of the video length. And that is how you can view video engagement data in Google Analytics 4. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video because it helps me continue working on this channel. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics 4, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.